this kind of visuals is undoubtedly it gives a very good estimation of your data but the problem is we don't get to know the exact number easily so how can we get to know that exact number for example you see it is showing that the city this city has the highest gross income but what is that income amount that you can estimate by looking at this which is something greater than 5000 but what exactly that number is how would you get to know that so for that you require some sort of tabular data how can you create that so for that you what you can do is just right click on this and just click on show as table and now over here you get the exact numbers you see how important the role of tabular data is in your analysis right so this is how you can get the tabular data behind your visuals now the question you might be thinking is this all about this video is this how we are going to create the table the answer is no this was just to show you the importance of the table now let's uh, let's come over here and try to create a table in very simple steps so all that you need to do is go in visualization pane and from here you choose the button table right or option table now the next thing you require content for this means the column which you want to use in your table so for that what i'm going to use is i'm going to use city so here i got all my cities now for each of the city i'm going to see the total unit price right so that's what i got over here the total unit price for each of the city now further i want to segregate it by gender also right so what i can do is i can just drag and drop the gender over here but you see the sequence is not right okay over here you what you see is city then unit price and then the gender the, how, how to work it out so for that what you can do is in the previous videos you might have seen here multiple columns right x axis y axis but in case of table we get only box which is columns now in this you see the sequence city unit price and then the gender what i'm going to do is i'm going to change their sequence the moment i do it it is adjusted all right now after this if i want to um, include some other column into it for example let's say i want to see the total income as well so that that's something which i can drag and drop over here and i get this income also over here now you see how simple was it this is how you can create the table in power bi now this was something creating a very basic table let's talk about applying a little bit of formatting into it so to apply any formatting all that you need to do is go on this particular option which is format your visual and over here you get a lot of option to apply the formatting i highly encourage you to go in each of the options and these are going to be very simple and observe what sort of options are available over here i'm going to show you some of the basic and very important thing or most commonly used things so for example column headers so for column headers what you can do is here i'm just going to change the background color for my column headers and the font color also right now you see this is giving a very good impression of the uh, headings right i'm also going to make it bold now in the same fashion i'm going to change the color for the total part also so how can i do that so for that i just scroll down and over here i have the options okay now over here if i want to change the colors i can do the same thing over here as well and the font color i'm going to put like this all right so color is not looking pretty cool let me make it same as the headers now this is looking good now if i want to uh, put some grid also means lining in my table that i can also do and for that what i need to do is i would require to come over here and into this over here you can choose the grid line for example i'm going to choose black and i am going to now you can see the lines as well now i'm going to increase the width now you can clearly see the lines right but it completely depends on your requirement i recommend to keep it thinner right now this was the horizontal line if you want to show the vertical lines also so just click on this on and over here you choose a different color for or maybe whatever color you want right so i'm just going to make it visible so that's why i choose this color and i'm going to increase the width of that so now you saw how simple was it right and if you want to increase the font size of the cell values that you can also do for that what you can do is you go in cell elements and over here not over here but in values over here you can come and you can increase the say a uh, font size of the values as well and you can do other formattings so i highly encourage you to go through all these options and try this all right so this is you see how simple is it to create a table into the power bi now the next and very important thing which i am going to tell you is conditional formatting so for that let me first very quickly create a table for you 
and that is city then comes gender and then comes the gross income let me put the gross income over here i'm just going to put uh, i'm just going to use three columns as of now right or maybe if you want me to use other columns you can let me know let me put the uh, put unit price as well okay so here is what here, here is what I all got okay now the next thing is I'm going to apply the conditional formatting so what is the conditional formatting first of all if you're someone who have worked in who has worked in Excel previously then you must be knowing what conditional formatting is if not then conditional formatting is something using which you can highlight the cell values for example in the unit price I want to highlight all those values which are you know which are greater than uh 9000 which are greater than 9000 okay or maybe which are less than 9000 i want to highlight all those values and in the income i want to highlight all those values which are greater than 2500 or maybe less than 2500 so how can you do that so for that you're gonna use the conditional formatting and how to apply that so for that what you need, all that you need to do is come in this column box and choose your column on which you want to apply the conditional formatting for example in unit price i want to highlight all those sales which has value greater less than 8500 or greater than 8500 or let's say greater than 9000 okay so let me just say this right click on this unit price and Come over here in the conditional formatting and i'm going to choose background color there are other options also for font color data bar icons icons and etc many more things i highly encourage you to try all try um, the, these options and if you would like me to make a separate video for this do let me know into the comment section i'll cover all of these things i'll create a separate video on advanced conditional formatting but for now let's focus on this background color over here what i'm going to do is from here format style i'm going to choose rules and into this my condition is to look for the value which are greater than uh, greater than 8500 right so let me put 8500 and uh, the value must be less than let's say any number which i can put which should be greater than um, 10 um, i mean the i want to highlight all those values which are between 8500 to 10000 okay so and then the color which i want to choose is let's say green okay I just choose that color also so here it seems okay here it is percentage i i require the number so i just choose the numbers over here now just let's just do this okay so everything is greater than 8500 oh god now let me just make it uh, let, let me change the conditions into it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say 9000 let's say 9000 okay now let me do this now we got fewer sales highlighted you see over here same way if i want to uh, apply the conditional formatting on gender what i can do is i right click on this gender column go in conditional formatting background and into this i'm going to choose rules and here it says because that is that is the text column so here it completely says if value is female female then i'm just going to highlight that as this color let's choose the pink color all right so here is what we got so you see now uh, after applying the conditional formatting we can easily see that these all are the female entries and for those these are the unit prices which they have paid off right so you see how this was right to create a table to have the tabular data behind a visual create a table from scratch and apply the conditional formatting on a table right so i just hope that it was very simple and interesting for you to understand just in case if you get any doubt in uh, put that into the comment section if you would like me to make a advanced video on any of the topic which we discussed today let me know into the comment section i'll definitely create a separate video for that thank you once again for watching this Wish